Okay, we're looking at polysaccharides. Okay, before we talk about the polysaccharides, I just want to say a few things um, that we should know. First of all, that polysaccharides um, act as sites of glucose storage and um, and or they act as structural elements. So talking about different types of uh, polysaccharides, uh, monosaccharides of three to tw three to twelve monosaccharides would be called oligosaccharides, and thousands, um, dozens to thousands of monosaccharides would be uh, we would call uh, polysaccharides. And one example of this would be starch, and starch is amylose and amylopectin. And another type we can think of, of course, is glycogen, which is um, produced in the liver or in the muscle. And uh, so this is the storage form of glucose. So let's talk about the polysaccharides a little bit more, and let's look at this first structure, which is amylose. And amylose is an unbranched polymer of glucose that forms the starch granules in plants. Next we have cellulose, and cellulose is the most abundant uh, biomolecule on earth and is also an unbranched polymer of glucose. So this is the most abundant biomolecule on earth, remember that. And then gly uh, glycogen down at the bottom uh, is the storage form of polysaccharides in animals and note that this molecule is branched. So remember at the top here we have amylose which is unbranched and uh, this forms the starch, starch granules in plant, plants and B is cellulose um, which is the most abundant biomolecule on earth so remember this structure and then lastly we have uh, uh, glycogen which is the storage form of polysaccharides in animals and note that this is branched So before we talk on the uh, talk about lipids, we just look at these structures, various structures, various sugars in human tissues. So we have ribose on the left here. Then we have two deoxyribose glucosamine and N-acetyl glucosamine, uh, which is involved in uh, glycosylation. And down at the bottom, glucuronic acid, and then the lactone form of gluconic acid and then of course glucose 6-phosphate and uh, you know after glucose enters the cell it is phosphorylated and you can notice here this is the uh, the phosphate group and the phosphate group of course is involved in in energizing uh, for uh, action within the cell and next we can look at the mouse not working here, sorbitol which is an artificial sweetener, I think, but interesting to look at the different structures, and these are examples of various tissues, various sugars we can see in the human uh, tissues.